hello everyone and welcome to another video uh, regarding challengeable questions so this is again one more question for which i'm getting a lot of queries and this is question id 701178 this is a question from f block elements and a lot of you have asked me to check this question okay so let's let's try that okay i'll be taking just this question in this video because i thought because a lot of explanation is needed for this so just keep one uh, question over here um, it says consider the following statement regarding magnetic properties of lanthanide ions okay now there are certain things which has to be taken as uh, by default or you can say as uh, as uh, something predefined when they are talking about lanthanide ions so it is assumed that all the lanthanides ion are in their most stable oxidation state which is plus three okay so they are assuming that all lanthanides are in plus three oxidation state now let's look upon the questions or options and uh, we'll see how we'll re reach so the answer which is given in key is uh, let me just mark that so that is option b right this is according to the key okay the question says that uh, observed magnetic moment are uh, sorry the options are the op observed magnetic moments are highly dependent on ligand field second says that uh, only ground j state is populated third statement says that spin orbit coupling is of order of 1000 centimeter inverse while the ligand field effect is only about 100 centimeter inverse and fourth option is that the spin on only formula cannot be used to calculate magnetic moment of f7 configuration okay so let's look upon each of them one by one let's talk about the first option a okay a statement which says that observed magnetic moment is highly dependent on ligand field this is entirely incorrect this is an incorrect statement why because you know that in f block elements uh, because f orbitals are so deeply buried inside that they are not much affected by the ligand field and uh, that's why ff uh, like splitting of f orbital is also not that much so that's that's the reason so this option or this statement is wrong okay i'll come to statement b later uh, let us go to statement c so when a is wrong so of course your option one and option three are incorrect okay and uh, then let's talk about uh, statement number c so statement c is uh, is of course correct because it says a spin orbital coupling is of order 1000 centimeter inverse and uh, ligand field effect is of 100 centimeter inverse so yes the spin orbital coupling is high that's why your magnetic moment is calculated with a special formula rather than using the general formula which we use and uh, the ligand field uh, effect is low okay so we know that so that means statement c is right okay statement c is correct now is the deciding factor okay let's go to statement d first i'll show you with reference okay everything don't worry statement d says that the spin or only formula cannot be used to calculate magnetic moment of f seven configuration okay now f7 is uh, your gadolinium plus three right gadolinium plus three so i'm going to show you a reference from the uh, jd lee okay? and let's see what jd lee says okay so this is your this is from jd lee and this is page number 872 uh, chapter is the lanthanide series and you can see the pro magnetic properties let me zoom this for you okay so it says that lanthanum cerium uh, lanthanum plus 4 and uh, ce plus 4 lanthanum la plus 3 and ce plus 4 have f0 configuration and two other things are written but the important thing is that um yeah it says that thus and as a first approximation the magnetic moment can be calculated using simple spin only formula okay and this is the formula which is used this simple relationship works with lanthanum plus three which has f0 configuration and two of the lanthanides one is gadolinium plus three which has f7 configuration and lutetium plus three which has uh, f14 configuration so lanthanum and lutetium has no unpaired electron n is equals to zero and that's why spin only magnetic moment will be zero which is same as what you see uh, for the like observed value and in the case of gadolinium plus three uh, it has seven unpaired electrons n is equals to seven and then the spin only magnetic moment comes out to 7.9 which is again equivalent to what you observe or what is the observed value okay whereas it says that other lanthanide do not obey this simple relationship but you don't have to worry about that 
to this statement where it says that a spin only formula cannot be used to calculate magnetic moment of f7 this is an incorrect statement okay so option d is not correct okay many of you are telling that option d will be correct for this no option d is not correct because it says it cannot be used but the book itself says that spin only uh, magnetic moment formula can be used okay that's why i always emphasize on reading book especially for inorganic chemistry you you cannot just rely on notes or something okay you have to read books i'll show you the other reference also now is the other question other statement now this is over here it statement number b this is the key because you cannot say that it is completely correct you cannot say this is completely incorrect it is in the gray region okay because it says um, only ground j state is populated so if you look upon this particular option i'll show you another um, reference for this it's also in jd lee but uh, it's not very well uh, like explained or you can say very well written so i'll show you um shivers and atkins yeah this is shivers and atkins page number 586 chapter is the f block elements and uh, this section is magnetic properties i will zoom this part okay so we are talking about the magnetic properties of lanthanoid compounds arise from both spin and orbital contribution they have mentioned these things let me come down a little bit where the main thing is okay so they are also talking about the same thing but now here is the thing okay let's read about it it says that the analysis in the brief illustration i assume that okay fine let's let's leave this part okay it says that this is the ground state okay they are talking about spectra and magnetic properties together so just try to understand it this is the ground state which they are talking about so 2s plus 1 lj level is occupied at the temperature of experiment for most lanthanide ion this is a good assumption for example the first excited state of uh, cerium and is 1000 centimeter inverse above the ground state and nearly unpopulated at room temperature okay so the first excited state is unpopulated for room temperature a small contribution from higher energy terms result in minor deviation of observed value for those uh, based on population of a single term okay for europium plus 3 and to a lesser extent to samarium plus 3 the first excited state lies close to the ground state it says that there is only a difference of 300 centimeter inverse and it is par partly populated even at room temperature now, although the given value of mu based on occupation of only ground state is zero the experimental observed value is non-zero so basically what they are trying to say is for all the lanthanides only contribution comes from the ground state because the first excited states are away from the ground state so the electrons in the first excited state they cannot participate in uh, um, like in the magnetic moment and uh, the only contribution comes from the ground state but a small contribution okay from the higher energy state it says uh, can come in some cases and it can it is based on a population of the single term and it is for europium and to lesser extent for samarium means only two are there europium and samarium which show this exceptional case where some contribution comes from the higher energy state now if you get back to the statement here it says that only ground j state is populated it is true for most of the lanthanides okay only ground state is populated it is true for most of lanthanides okay but it is also not true okay but not for europium plus 3 and samarium plus 3 these two are since these two are exceptions that makes this statement a controversial statement so it's not entirely wrong it's not entirely right okay because it is true for almost all the lanthanides but it's, uh, except for these two it's uh, it's true so if you want to challenge this question see this question if this question will be challenged I don't know how they are going to uh, like uh, give marks to this question but if you are planning to challenge this question you can just give reference of 
Shivers and Atkins, or you can give reference of, I already told you, right? Um, I'll, I'll just write down here. So you have Shivers and Atkins, like it will be in most of the book, okay? And page number is, uh, page is 582. 586 okay. 586 so you can challenge it based on this um but since all the other options are incorrect so if you have marked option d and think that you will get right answer i don't think they are going to um, like i don't know how they are going to mark or how they are going to give marks to this question but still like this is a gray region it can be accepted it cannot be accepted depends upon how well you are explaining this to the to the reviewers and how well they are going to review this question okay so i hope this is clear to you this was one of the most asked question do let me know if you have other questions which you want me to discuss i'll try to make quick videos on them as well uh, do let me know in the comment section of this video all right that's it for my set for this video take care bye bye